professional amateur. All right, let's check these potatoes. Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot about those. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the show. I'm Spencer. And I'm Christy. And we are still in New Mexico, but we've moved on to a new spot. We are in Farmington, which is in Northern New Mexico. And we're loving it. We're loving it. It's amazing. Another thing that we love is getting to shop at local markets. And while we were on our way here, we stopped off at Santa Fe and we were able to pick up some local meats. One of those being a very, very tasty looking ribeye. So today for you, we are cooking a blackened ribeye, some chunky mashed potatoes, and a side of broccoli. So let's go fire up the flex though. Welcome back to Destination Delicious. We are super excited about this meal. We've got a fun, different take on potatoes today. We're gonna to be making these chunky mashed potatoes. And to get started, we should probably get those on the griddle because yeah, they'll take the longest. Because we're not gonna do it the traditional way by boiling them first. We're gonna cook them on the griddle and then mash them. So I'm excited for all the flavor that's gonna be incorporated from doing it that way. Drives me bananas that <laughs> you cut each potato differently. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying them out to see which one you like the best. That's just not how my brain works. Like once I figure out the way, that is the way. This is the way. All right, so now that those are all cut up, I'm gonna get them on the griddle, get some oil down first. And seasoning. Garlic powder, salt, and pepper. When we were at the farmer's market and looking to buy our steak from Lazy BG Farm, we had the option for boneless or bone in, and I tend to opt for bone in because I feel like it just adds a little bit more flavor along with the fat that's marbled throughout the steak. So I'm pretty excited about this one. It looks very, very tasty. This is our first time using the Blackstone Blackened Seasoning. Yep. We just picked that up the other day specifically for this meal. Nice, good coating of that. Oh. Lots of good pepper flavors are yeah. wafting in my direction. So Spencer had the opportunity to cook with Nate a little while ago and he taught him how to, basically with your steaks, you wanna dry them out first prior to putting them on the griddle because it will just help them sear really well. Well, we were so excited about the blackened seasoning, Spencer just went right in for it and forgot about that technique. So Got a little ahead of myself, just a little. He's gonna try to dry it anyways with the seasoning on it, hoping to get that like really beautiful sear. Should be good, we'll pull some moisture off the surface either way. All right, let's check these potatoes. Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot about those. While the potatoes are cooking and we're waiting to put the steak on, I'm just gonna go ahead and get the broccoli cut up and ready to get on the griddle as soon as it's time. Probably the hardest task of the day is cutting these broccoli crowns perfectly. Just getting the stem just right so there's a little bit of a crunch but not too much. There's technique here. Right, let yeah. Me, let me show you the way. This is not the way. Griddled broccoli is one of our favorite side dishes. And if you can get your five-year-old to eat broccoli, that's a win. <laughs> Bonus. We're going to add some garlic cloves to our potatoes. This campground we are staying at is basically in the middle of a giant off-road park. So if you hear ATVs or dirt bikes in the background, that's why. I'm thinking later we're gonna take the Jeep out and get it, get it a little dirty. The potatoes are almost ready, so we're gonna move on to our next step for making our chunky mash. I'm gonna put in a half a stick of butter, which is nice and soft from being out in the sun. We've got a quarter cup of heavy cream and then a quarter cup of sour cream. And then our garlic. I'll just give it a quick stir, but it'll all melt together once it's on the griddle. Got this side of the griddle set to medium heat. We're gonna put the pan right on the griddle. Potatoes are ready. We're gonna just mix our sauce up real quick, add the potatoes, and then get the steak going. All right, now that we got the potatoes in the pan, it's time to get the steak on the griddle. I'm gonna put just a little bit of oil down. And down goes the steak. And now it's time to get our broccoli down. So for that, we just need a little bit of olive oil, and then we're gonna season it up with salt, pepper, garlic powder. I almost forgot, we are actually gonna add some shredded cheese to our potatoes. So technically, they're cheesy, chunky mashed potatoes. I was going to mash the potatoes, but I figured it's best to bring in the muscles for the mash. 
All right, it is time to flip our steak over. Steak is ready, taters are ready, broccoli's ready. Let's plate her up. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready too. Taking up almost the entire plate, as it should. This looks amazing. Our final touches are a little bit of cheese garnish. We're gonna sprinkle some Parmesan on top of the broccoli. And then our Mexican blend on the chunky mashed potatoes. Now that is a hearty meat and potato meal. I'm so ready for this. So right. I'm gonna start. I was gonna say, you're cutting. Oh, baby. I'm gonna get you more of a lean piece. Yes, please. <laughs> That's very tasty. Garlicky, oniony. There's a lot of flavors. Yeah. I want to try these potatoes. Lots of flavor here, lots of still really good texture. It's not that whipped mashed potato. Right. And it's not like super chunky, like you're not gonna get like big chunks of potato in it, but it's it's not whipped either. And we left the skin on, so that's in there as well. It's, mm -hmm. it's definitely more of a, a hearty camp style potato. <laughs> and the broccoli. Crunch, flavor, always a crab pleaser. So good, never disappoints. We're gonna go finish this. But we'd like to thank you for joining us today while we cook. We hope you enjoyed our meal as much as we are going to enjoy it. If you do, give it a shot on your Blackstone. Drop us a comment below and let us know what you think. And definitely try out the new Blackstone. Available Black at and Lowe's. Seasoning. Yeah, Available we picked it Lowe's. up at Lowe's. Check out blackstoneproducts.com for griddles, accessories, and all things Blackstone. Subscribe and ring that bell on the YouTube channel. Watch all the other shows from Nate, Todd, CJ, Betty, and Bruce. And until next time, guys, this is Destination Delicious from New Mexico, and we will see you down the road.